Hey everybody, uh, welcome to part two of the doorbell installation video. So in the previous video, we installed the Chinese uh, doorbell uh, to the house and got it working. And that one is basically uh, transmitting SD uh, analog uh, video directly to my old uh, clunker uh, DVR. So that system is going to go and it's going to be replaced with this. So this is my new uh, 4K Ultra HD um, Lorex uh, NVR with um, uh, 4K cameras um, that plug into this thing. Uh, so the driveway cam was upgraded. I got that working. I tested it out so everything works perfectly. So the next step is to get the doorbell cam into this system too. So um, there's no YouTube information and if you ask the manufacturer they don't recommend it. They only recommend plugging in the um, recommended 4K Lorex cameras to this. So no one's done this as far as I know. Um, and so uh, doing a little bit of research I uh, figured out that uh, well basically you need to get a um, one of these doodads which is a um, IP camera converter so you plug in your SD uh, uh, analog video feed in and it generates IP data uh, coming out so again not much information on this prices range I didn't know what I was doing so uh, based on uh, Amazon reviews um, this particular model which is the HD view I'll put a link in the description uh, is supposed to be able to uh, to um, uh, be transmitting uh, what they call onvif so onvif is your um, high quality um, uh, uh, IP camera um, uh, 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 data uh, standard uh, which is compatible with uh, most high-end NVRs so and other people have you know online and in the Amazon reviews have got it working with their NVR so chances are good that that would have been that would work with this one here uh, so I took a chance uh, ordered the unit uh, spent uh, the whole day yesterday fighting with this thing but eventually I got it working so I can confirm that this does work so I'm gonna go over um, uh, all the steps that I uh, took to do that. I'm going to do a factory reset on this guy and this guy and I'm going to do the whole process uh, from the beginning and um, and that will be uh, hopefully able to guide someone else to do the same thing. So let's talk about this guy here. So this is a basically I think a $50 uh, generic uh, video encoder uh, made by HDView. I got it on Amazon um, and as it says right here uh, supports the ONVIF standards. So this is what you want. Um, closer look at this thing here. Uh, it's actually a decent unit uh, and has great uh, um, technical, um, not technical support, but um, technical interface on that, which I'll, I'll talk about in a second. But basically, uh, this is how it comes out of the box. It comes with um, some screws, uh, an installation uh, DVD, which you don't need. Um, but basically just this. So the first thing you'll have to do is go ahead and pick up a 12 volt uh, adapter uh, to plug it in. Uh, and this one drives uh, PoE, so power over ethernet, uh, which is how this guy works to drive the cameras uh, in the back. Um, looking at the other side, it also takes an audio input. So I think I have audio working on that camera, so I'll be interested to see if I can plug audio in as well uh, and get that working. Uh, but essentially that's it, basically video in, um, IP uh, uh, out, and uh, it's uh, producing ONVIF compliant video stream, which is compatible with this NVR. So uh, yeah, so the first thing um, that you got to do is read the instructions, and you'll f find out that uh, according to the uh, uh, instruction, uh, this thing has a fixed uh, IP um, uh, setting here. So if you plug this into your um, network right away, uh, you're not even going to be able to detect this thing because the uh, IP address is all messed up. Uh, so what you got to do is um, uh, hook this up to, so I'll hook it up to my Windows 8 laptop. Uh, I'll adjust the IP settings, be able to interface with this um, uh, uh, decoder and, uh, sorry, encoder and uh, uh, adjust the settings. And so there's a web interface, so you'll need Internet Explorer 3. Um, load that up, uh, put in the, um, 
uh, magic password and uh, you'll be able to log in to this thing. So this has basically a um, web um, interface and that's how you do all the modifications um, uh, and settings internally and it works great. So we'll go ahead and get that started. So all we need is basically this guy here, our network cable which is somewhere here. Um, plug this directly into your laptop and essentially it's a peer-to-peer -peer connection. Uh, change the settings and um, interface and I'll do that next. Okay, so we've powered up our Windows 8 laptop, uh, so nothing is connected to the Ethernet, the Ethernet cable is not connected, and the camera is not connected. So we uh, find the, the control panel, uh, and uh, let's get started with our network settings. So scroll up to uh, Network uh, Sharing Center, uh, find your adapter settings. So you'll notice here that we have Ethernet not plugged in, Wi-Fi is plugged in, so click on the properties for Ethernet. Uh, and scroll all the way to IPv4 settings. We don't worry about the six settings. So this is, should be the standard um, setting. Basically, you choose your own. Uh, uh, sorry, you let the network choose uh, IP address. You want to select um, a manual IP address. Look at the instructions and remember where they say that the default network address is. So you'll have to choose a network address similar to that. So 192, 168. 26 and we'll choose 2 subnet normal default primary we're gonna uh, put um, one as that one <coughs> DNS we're gonna choose the same except put it on one click OK so open up a control panel uh, and you do an IP uh, uh, sorry, IF config to take a look at your network settings. Okay, so the network camera is not plugged in yet, so you notice that there's nothing there. All right. So now plug in your uh, camera and give it another shot. I think it takes a second for the network to uh, to link up. Try it again. Okay, it's not ready yet. Let's try it again. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so now we have uh, an address, uh, um, uh, IP address, and the camera also has uh, negotiated a link. So next thing you want to do is open up uh, Explorer. So type in the uh, 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 HTTP address, which is basically the camera address. So you'll notice that uh, uh, you can type in the password there but has a little blurb at the top which says uh, that you need to download that package. So click on that. Okay, just click on run. You notice that you don't need the CD, right? That uh, package is actually uh, hard uh, saved inside the camera. Right. So install that. Shut down Explorer, next, fire it up again. Type in the address of the camera again. Once Windows is ready. So on. So then put the address again. Okay, load up the web server again. Ah, okay, so you notice that that message at the top is gone. So at this point, you can put in your password, <coughs> and you can log in. So this is the uh, HTTP interface. So if you, there you pull, pull in the camera, there you go. All right. So uh, so you'll notice that it's working now. Uh, let's uh, modify the settings. So uh, we'll work on the image settings next. Don't worry about the IP setting because you have to reboot. So. Um, Actually, sorry, we'll, we'll skip right to the ports. So the ports, you can notice that the HTT port is set to 80, right? There's also a data port and RTSP port. Don't worry about those. Um, the uh, Lorex 4K cameras are set to a different value. This is for the OnVIF settings. Right? So um, let's click on uh, our OSD settings uh, because the uh, Lorex NVR doesn't seem to like uh, watermarks for uh, the OVID camera. 
So we'll manually do the watermarks here. And so uh, we'll follow the, the time format, which is month, day, year. Um, also move the doorbell icon to the lower left corner, and that should match up with the uh, NVR. So the last thing you want to uh, do is set the uh, IP address as uh, obtain an IP address automatically. That way the uh, NVR will give it an IP address. Click on save and you are basically ready to go. Now also don't forget, now the uh, IP address is uh, going to be obtained automatically, uh, which means that if you ever have to plug that uh, camera back into the laptop to, to uh, change settings, uh, then you're going to have to remember that there is no set IP address. You kind of have to find whatever the NVR did. So, but these are enough settings to, uh, to, to be off and running for now. So let's uh, go to the NVR and finish installation. Alrighty, so here we are in the, uh, uh, in the laundry room. So we got the um, uh, HDMI uh, uh, monitor hooked up to the uh, new installed uh, Lorex NVR. So we're gonna go through the whole um, install procedure here. Uh, so we'll need to do a network setup and then just click forward, click forward, admin password. Uh, okay, so we'll blur this part out. Remember your password. Okay. Connecting through recorder. So we got uh, the two cameras uh, set up. Click OK. All right, so this is a valid username or password. So it's trying to connect to the, um, uh, the HD view, but it can't, right? But I did find the address of it, right? So it's giving it a 129 address. Uh, don't know what the address of this one is. But we'll click forward, click OK. Uh, yeah, MDY, yeah, we guessed right on that one. Time format, uh, yeah, looks good, it looks good, all right. Okay, click on channel to assign a camera name. All right, so this one here is going to be called uh, Garage. Okay, and this guy here is going to be called. I have a garage front door. Oh, we'll call it front door. Sure, why not? Apply. It's actually doorbell, but that's okay. Uh, let me click on uh, next. Okay, so um, there'll be a constant record, so I don't need to, don't need to worry about that. Um, yeah, so let's worry about this later. I'm not sure exactly how to uh, uh, how to do that. Okay, so it didn't take the name of the cam, so we'll have to figure that out later. Okay, click find, sure. Fine, okay. And continue live display. Okay. So now let's see if we can fix this one here. So we're going to go to main menu. Uh, okay, camera. Okay. So here we have um, the camera one, CH1, so I plug it into channel one. Uh, this is the one where it can't connect, which is the HD view, but it did detect it. So if you try to put a fixed address, like a 10.1.1. something, um, if you're anal retentive and you want to give a specific address, uh, that actually doesn't work. I don't know why the NVR rejects it, but it has to be on uh, um, choose the IP address automatically. Anyways, so now that it's that, um, um, under registration, we want to edit this camera. 
So we'll see that it's, a, it's an ONVIF particle, right? So the HTTP port is 80, so that's good. Uh, admin, so the password here, we'll have to uh, change that to uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, click on Enter. Um, and click on Connect. Okay. Oh, there we go. All right. So it's got green, and um, as you can see, if we scroll over, um, this one it should tell us. Okay, it doesn't tell us here. Uh, under status. Yeah, here we go. The protocol is on VIF, right? As opposed to being private. This is the HD camera um, that comes with the Lorex system. Right, the E8841CA, uh, it's called private. Um, this IP camera uh, is ONVIF compatible and it's just basically called ONVIF. Anyways, uh, so let's go back, go back, back, and there we go. Uh, one four. And actually, let's just view them all, sorry. Yeah, there we go. All right, so here we have our cameras uh, doorbell. There we go. Uh, this is that, and there's that, and there we go. So now we have the SD camera, uh, analog camera plugged in here, and we've got our 4K uh, Lorex camera plugged in here. And that's uh, as easy as it is to set this thing up. Okay, so here we have our Lorex Cloud Home application. Uh, as you can see, we've got our two video streams working. We've got the analog SD doorbell um, uh, here on the left and we got the uh, 4k Lorex cam on the right uh, so the watermark uh, as you can see here is actually generated by the um, HD view uh, for both uh, time and um, uh, the identification channel I don't know why the, the Lorex NVR doesn't uh, like uh, that uh, so you can't put the watermark uh, using Lorex don't know why anyways uh, it's working if we go where our device settings yeah, so if we click on, uh, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, remote device settings, we can see our, P our, our, our IP addresses uh, of the uh, camera. So the private is the uh, 4K. It uses port 35,000 uh, data port, and it's given its own PoE address as 128. Um, here we supplied our HTTP address as port 80, uh, which is also the data streaming uh, address. Uh, IP address is 1.129 and of course um, the uh, NVR recognizes it as ONVIF compatible uh, and it even has a little uh, display number. This is the HD view uh, device name uh, and that's it so we are um, good to go. There, there we go.